here we go. It's time for another sprint zone. This one's for nine five. Better late than never. Had some stuff happen when I was in Breck, but it's party time. So the crew's looking pretty good, and we have John and Alyssa coming off the front. Notice how they come off, both come off the left side, something that this group does, and it ensures that we're only three wide instead of four wide, and it keeps the double pace line from having to do that wiggle waggle stuff. And I think it's better for safety, and it teaches discipline for the guys up front to um, not accelerate. Looking rearward, what do we see here? We got Ilka and Dean. Looking okay. I kind of wish their handlebars were a little more parallel. Either um, Dean drop back or Ilka come up. That half wheel crap just ripples back through the field. And it's just not cool. It's what makes a group not look pro. Up front, me and Mr. Doherty heading towards the sprint zone. And it's going to be a rather good day with all of the people in attendance and with the sun out. Looks like Dean's pretty relaxed there. You know, somebody who is not worried about this. And I'll take the time now to thank Scott for his video, which will appear in the upper right, along with his power. We're going to have our 30 second power at the bottom, instantaneous power up top. And let's get the party started. Looking rearward, we got Dean looking confident. And, you know, there doesn't seem to be a sense of urgency there. Ryan looking good, coming up, trying to get some good position. Ilka in good position. Scott back there. And you can now see Scott's camera has come online. You're probably wondering, like, what did he render all that stuff out there in the middle of the screen for? But now you see why. Looking rearward, people are starting to form up. And, you know, it's not a ton of watch yet. We're just kind of chilling out there. And you can see, you know, 30 second power um, in the 150s, but instantaneous power. Looks like I'm throwing out like 260, 250, Dom throwing out, I mean, Scott throwing out like 280. So yeah, it is an earnest and everybody's strung out here. And this kind of surprised me. And looking at Scott's camera, I'm just going side by side and everyone's strung out. So basically I'm just like wasting my energy or better yet, other people should be further up the road on my wheel. I don't understand like what's going on here. I don't think Don and I are throwing out that much wide. or maybe 250, whatever, but it is totally strung out. And it's a mistake for the strongmen to be back so far. Uh, um, you know, it works out okay here, but it is what it is. Anyway, Don doing the puppy paws up there as we come past Eric, who was waiting earlier. Let's talk about the puppy paws. Banned by the UCI. I don't know how many people use it on this ride, but certainly he is bleeding off a lot less watts than I am up front. So I know Don is stronger than I am and I can't go head to head with him. Anyway, look at my instantaneous power, like in the 300s, um, 30 second power. Wow, I'm kind of surprised it was this high at 290 watts. Maybe I'm getting stronger than I think. Although recent FTP tests have not shown that. Oh. I come to think of it, I haven't done an FTP test recently, so I guess that's a loud lie. So now we see Scott's camera. Scott sees uh, me in there, and there I am with my little antenna wandering back because I'm not going to sit up there all day. And there's lethargy. Like, why did this gap open up? I'm kind of surprised. Like, what's going on here? And I think that maybe Ilka being in the mix didn't want to make that, and is causing gaps to open up. Anyway, Scott makes the wise move to stay on Brian's wheel. And Brian, in my opinion, is riding above his status. It's going to be a mental note to like get around him at some point. And looking rearward, I'm surprised there was this much of a gap. And this is what happens when people ride above their station or bring a knife to a gunfight. Yeah, look, I'm talking about you. Anyway, there are other men, strong men, strong men that are cognizant of the danger up the road. You see... Um, Dawn up the road, it's a problem or could be a problem. So here we go. We got um, Steve Hyland looking really strong and JC. And with this, the alarm bells clearly go off and the rest of the pack says this is dangerous. And perhaps there wasn't enough respect from like Eric and Don and Scott and myself up the road. I mean, please. But anyhow, I'm working pretty hard here trying to stay in contention. It's definitely harder up. And now I'm like, there's a slight crosswind off of our left shoulder, left to right. 
and I am kind of sitting out here in the wind. And basically, Brian has the last good slot, and I'm thinking to myself, and pardon my language, shit. Because I know he's not going to be able to hold the wheel. I'm bleeding off energy, and look what happens here. Shit. I get dropped. And I didn't look around because um, Brian didn't pull off to say, hey, I'm getting dropped. You know, I know he's an ex-racer. Like, pull off and wiggle if you can't hold it. But anyhow, there we are. And here we go. Mr. Lockwood going for glory on himself. And I'm going to say, going all cowboy. And I'm thinking to myself, did you not learn anything from last week? You go out there and you think you're going to run down Mr. Highland, Eric, Don, JC. What have you been smoking? So here we are. And the guys up front are probably really happy because it's divide and conquer. Looking rearward, we got John looking strong. We got um, Brian back there holding on. And I should probably be a little more towards the center of the road to try to get a little more um, shelter for everybody. My bad on that one. But here we go. We reeled in Mr. Cowboy, who's on the edge. So even if he wanted to help, he's not given any shelter. He's basically guttering everybody behind him. And this just shows the lack of experience. Sorry to call you out there, Andy, but I'm calling you out. And here comes the B train. And I knew this was coming, so life is good. And here we go. I believe it's going to be choo-choo all aboard, everybody. Tony, then we got um, Curtis. And a lot of the strong men coming through. And so this is my ticket ticket to ride here. So here we go. Everyone looking strong. And maybe people were waiting earlier. Maybe that's why they didn't go after us early on. Because they knew the B train was back there. So now here I am in the back. Basically guttered again. But it's kind of okay. Because like the leaders were up the road. Just barely up the road. Looking forward. We're seeing people that are unable to hold the pace. And I'm a little gassed from some of that effort early on. I didn't realize I was putting off that much power like early on, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Tony falling off the pace, surprisingly, as the state champion in his age group. Marcelo not able to hold the pace. John not up there. And you can see the B train and those that are left are just going for it. So I've kind of resigned myself to missing it. Didn't have my heart rate monitor on, but I know I'm pretty gassed at this point. Looking at Scott's camera, Scott's looking good up there. He has made the juncture and is riding with the big men. And throwing out, like, there's his heart rate I threw up there also, uh, 171. And he's throwing out 30-second um, power, 200 watts. So he's, he's working pretty good up there. And now I've got my little train, John behind. And there's the, the big man, Byron, A.K. Superman, waiting for the rest of us. A man who knows how to work with people. And let's take note, people. Let's work together. I mean, Byron could be up there, but he's selfless in his acts, and he's going to give the rest of us a toe, you know, a challenge to bring in to bring in the big men that are up there. And Byron moves to the center, and life is good. So we see the prey and the chasers, and really nice echelon here. Life is good. John's looking comfortable. Looks like Marcelo's looking comfortable. And there he is, the big man, just sitting there comfortably cranking out the big watts. And this is the thing of beauty. Oh, I'm working really hard here. You can see even me sitting in, you know, my 30 second power at this point is over 200 and at this point, 220 watts, 219, which last time I measured was above my FTP of like 200. So I'm bleeding off energy here, barely hanging on. And we can see, we can see our prey just up the road. Had we worked together a little more, if we had, you know, the extra engines, but alas, we do not. So I'm barely hanging on here, but it's, it's a good workout. I'm getting a good workout. No one's able to come by and help Byron. But then again, what else is new? Looking rearward, once again, we start to see the elastic begin to snap. Yes. And Marcelo is unhitched from the B train. And we can see riders up the road. Oh, it looks like my 30 second power, over 300 watts for a brief there. WTF. And this is why I was in trouble. You know, I never really look at my power that much when I'm actually riding, except for, you know, instantaneously. And I don't have 30 second you know, on my display, but maybe I should, but we are working hard here and I am just happy to hang on. 
And what do we have here? Another rider unable to hold on to the big men. And it looks like, who is that? Curtis. And will he be able to get back on? Nope. Nope. When the B train comes through, you better have a ticket. And if you don't have a ticket, you can't ride. But maybe he does have a ticket. Nope. 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 That ticket has expired. Running through. And there we go. Working hard. My 30 second power, you know, like 290 watts. This is like for me a big workout. And blowing off a lot of energy early on and staying head to head with Mr. Doherty, Mr. Puppy Paws, that caused me to lose all of my extra matches. And at this point, I have to say, no mas. And the big man go on. John is able to get good draft. And this is the shows. It illustrates that if you sit in, if you save your energy, you'll have something for the end. But we can see the carnage behind me. People blowed up. Yeah, that's Ebonics. Blowed up. Because they did not save their energy or work well together. Or just weren't that strong. Anyway, it's pretty much game over. Looking at Scott's camera up there. Looks like he had maybe become unhitched. I probably should have paid more attention to that. But those of you who are interested in what's happening with the big man, you can look up to the upper left and see what's going on and just ignore my ramblings about what I was doing. Yep. Still holding, trying to, trying to stay honest. Didn't want a lot of people to catch me. So my 30 second power still looks like 250 watts. Yeah, so I stronger than I thought I was today. Yep, you know, bringing back John here at the very crest. Yes. Getting an honorable place, a top 10, I think. So that was good. Um, well done, Scott. Well done, Eric. Well done, Don. And as we see them come through, that was, that was fun. You know, that was fun. I think maybe next week I will not go head to head with anybody early on. Save my energy, save my bullets. But on second thought, really all I want is a good workout, and it is what will make me stronger. There we go. They're the men. Looks like JC there. Scott, Steve Hyland, Eric, and Don Doherty. Yes. All men of note. And I would have only been up there with my utility belt anyhow. So a good time was had by all. Until next time, peace out, everybody. I enjoyed that one.